Hello, you're tuning into OM Live Netball, kindly brought to you by McRae Motors. I'm Rhiannon Harris. The elimination final okay. today sees the sudden death game, a rematch of last weekend's round 18, the Wodonga Raiders taking on the Murderford Alpine Saints. The winner of today's clash will live to fight another week and take on the Wangaratta Magpies, who lost to the Lavington Panthers yesterday. A big hello. We are, and the sun is oh. shining again, Ray. It's just wonderful I spring even, weather. I, I even went smell, the mid-length. I can smell fake tan in the air. <laughs> It's nothing like some fake tan to tell you spring is here. That is definitely not me. <laughs> uh, but we will begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we broadcast from today, the Yorta Yorta people, and pay respect to their elders past, present and emerging, and extending this respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today and tuning into this stream at any time. Well, both of these teams have not been in A-grade finals for quite some time. The Myrtleford Alpine Saints is their first A-grade appearance since 2012. And for the Wodonga Raiders, their first A-grade appearance since 2004. It's phenomenal. And isn't it wonderful to see? I just think it adds such a fresh element and face to the competition. It's exciting for the competition and just so exciting for these clubs and I mean Myrtleford have got a, a real presence here today I think they've got four tanks competing today so I'm I'm quite sure most of the town are here enjoying a Sunday out but um, there'll be a big Raiders contingent here too I'm sure um, they've got three teams in finals 15 17s and of course their A grade um, oh and then sorry their B grade as well so following on after today uh, yeah B grade um, played yesterday so you know, it's, it's exciting for these clubs that they're, they're back in finals because it, it's a great time of year to be participating and, you know, it, it's just, uh, it gives the juniors and the young people at their club something to aspire to and it's that, that whole notion of you can't be what you can't see. Absolutely. And we will start with Wodonga Raiders who finished in fourth their team list for today. They are coached by Jody House. In goal shooter, Taylor Donlan. Goal attack, Emily Stewart. Wing attack, Blaney House. Centre, Maggie St. John. Wing defence, Zoe Prentice. Goal defence, Mackenzie House. And goalkeeper, Molly Goldsworthy. On the interchange, Mia Lavis, Eliza Mooney, Shayla House, Chloe Benson and Eliza Howard. For mind, not a lot of finals experience in an A-grade court but plenty of netball experience. A lot of netball experience, um, absolutely. And I think the other thing that binds this team really strongly together is that a lot of these girls have played a lot of netball together from juniors all the way through. They really have each other's back. They're a really strong unit. Um, they've worked really hard. Their goal was to make finals and they're here and you know they have nothing to lose. They've, they've really quietly gone about their business. They haven't been the focus of, of the talk through the year and, and they are happy to be here and I think they're happy to, to prove people wrong, pr prove doubters wrong and um, I'm, I'm really excited to see what they bring. And particularly I'm really excited to see the shooting duo of M Stewart and Taylor Donnan out there. We've spoken about all year that they're just really sharing the load and we know from seeing what she can do that M Stewart when she's on and can turn and bomb. She's having a field day and um, Taylor's putting up some great numbers. But down the other end, Molly Goldsworthy, a seasoned campaigner previously mm. at North Albury. She'll bring a little bit of experience down that mm. defensive end. As we look to the Myrtleford Alpine Saints, they are coached by Liv Lespina and Tina Way. They will start and welcome back Sophie Hanrahan into goal shooter. In goal attack, Sally Bodder. Wing attack, Liv Lespina. Centre, Sage Bros. Wing defence, Evie Hughes. Goal defence, Tina Way. And in goalkeeper, Taylor Cartwright. On their interchange, Georgia Ryan, Rhiannon McIlroy, Lachey Hogan, Ava Brock and Eden Bros. There's one name missing from this lineup. Mm. Beck Piazza, I'm sure she'll be tuning in um, to watch the girls really fight it out. So they'll be missing her presence. Mm. And interesting that they've started with Soph down in shooting. I'm wondering if that's to see if they can notch some quick goals. We've seen mm. what damage she can do once she's in there. Yep. Um, and then perhaps make the swing back into defence if they need it. Oh, I agree. You know, we, we know what Soph brings. She's just phenomenal. And it's that it would be such a, a challenging coaching decision to make where do you play her. But you're right. They score quickly when she is in goals. And, um, you know, I think they have to attack. You've got nothing to lose. It's finals. You have to go out and, and attack that ball and the game. And, um, yeah, and I think they've got great confidence in their defenders who played a really solid game the other week against Yarrawonga so can't wait to see what they bring um for mine for me one of the matchups on court is Maggie St John and Sage Bros yes. both 
extreme athletes, mm, can both fast. run all day. But yes, very fast and both um, have just been that real linking mm. and consistent player for their respective teams this season. They sure do. And I think whilst Murderfoot haven't been in finals for a long time, they've got a lot of netball experience and, and some finals experience out there. Tina Way has obviously played a lot of finals not necessarily for Myrtleford, but across her career um, in other leagues and at other levels. And we know Liv Laspina and Soph Hanrahan have had finals experience in Ovens and Murray's at Korowa. So, you know, that they do have a wealth of experience. Um, so, you know what, it's, it's who's going to turn up today and, and bring their best. And we are at the Normans Oval. Myrtleford to have the first centre pass to get us underway in this elimination final. The whistle has sounded. Bros gives off to Laspina. Contact from St. John. Way the bounce oh. pass and Brentis, Brentis picks it up. It does well to off balance. Stewart in their attacking third. Ops for the reset. And Prentice had some oh. brilliant finals experience in 17s last year, playing in some absolute thrillers for the Raiders 17s. And as we see. scored off Myrtleford centre pass. What can they do here with their own? They opt. For the wing defence in Prentice. Again, on the line, Owen weighs down in back play. John Lennon just a little bit too much and it spills over the baseline. Cartwright in goalkeeper. Ops for the long ball to Hughes. Bros in that corner of that centre third. Laspina looks up. Oh, great and ball. Great vision and great ball. Sally Botter just first goal. lurking in the background there, takes a high ball. Middleford on the board. I don't think we'll see too many more of those in this quarter. As the high ball again into Hanrahan. Goldsworthy, a great three to not be called up. But Myrtleford take the lead here. Two goals to one on the 777 automotive scoreboard. Great defence from Way. Leaves Stewart on her own on that circle edge. And good change up by Donnellan. She looked to have the hold on, but changed the body position to come oh, forward. St. John. Oh, well Outstretched. Red. That was beautifully red. Ball again to the outreach of Donlan, and she makes good this time. We are level two goals apiece here in this first quarter, thanks to Cavalier Holmes. Contact on Prentice, leaving. Got a two on one here, and a ball just pulled oh. out the back. And Mackenzie House as well just couldn't quite get two hands on it. Appealing that she didn't quite touch it, but has been deemed elsewhere as the high ball into Hanrahan. That connection between Laspina and Hanrahan will be crucial into that circle as Myrtleford take a one goal advantage, three goals to two here on the triple seven automotive scoreboard. Stewart hot off the line there, receiving that centre pass. And oh, and I don't think she was quite no. expecting that ball. Uh, well done from Goldsworthy then. She came front, but then the space just opened up for Hanrahan to drop into. Both teams trying to move the ball really quickly, aren't they, Ree? We're, trying, we're seeing a a much faster pace than I think we saw in yesterday's game. game. And with, oh, Goldsworthy, oh. great contest. And I love that there was no whistle yes. call then. She was front, she got the back arm around and strong, stayed in play. Strong take by Hanrahan. And Botter, her first goal for this first quarter. Second goal, sorry, for Sally Botter. Five goals to two here on the 777 Automotive scoreboard. Stewart. Back to the line to St. John. She goes back to the line to Prentice. Prepared to work it around, Raiders. Stewart, no one to go to, eventually forces it to Donnellan. It goes over the line, but it's going to be a Raiders throw in. So Stewart's going to take that ball. Where's she going to go? She looks to the out of the circle and stepped on the court, I think was the call. So it's going to be a Myrtleford throw in. They're one of those errors mm. that are a bit of a coach she just killer had no and one probably a little bit of those mm. nerves early on in this game. Botter and Laspina. Laspina really directing Botter to know where the defenders are, but it reefs out and it is Raiders' possession. Blaney House gives off to Prentice, who receives it again in the double play. And St. John doing a mountain of work on that circle edge oh. and getting down and weighs down again. It's the contact call first. So it's frantic, isn't it, at the moment? It feels it feels frantic and watching we, neither we'd side. We mentioned yesterday as the game went on and it got hotter, mm. whether the ball... Oh, well read by Mackenzie House. Beautifully red coming off the line there to pick off that intercept. Whether or not this pace can mm. stay for the entirety, just that extra warm 
that extra warmth added? Well, it just needs a player on either side just to be prepared to change up the pace, stop the pace of the game and players around them just to change up their timing as Donnellan, strong rebound, strong ends rebound up on the ground. All, all rebound the off the <laughs> ground, quite literally, but able to, to regain a composure and put the ball in for the Raiders. Five goals to three here on the 777 Automotive scoreboard. Lespina, pocket ball to Bros presenting beautifully and Botter again on the baseline, opts to swing. Lespina waiting for Botter again, just really using the arc of the circle mm. and dropping another nice goal for the Saints. Six goals three here, five minutes played on the McRae Motors time clock. House backing up on the line, goes to Sister Blaney in the pocket. But a Not contact, Colin Dolan. Mm. So Cartwright oh, covering Dolan contest. really well down there at the moment. Contest again from House. Evie Hughes coming up high. Great drive and depth from. Oh, great ball to Hanrahan. Beautiful strongly. ball. And this is the thing with Sophie. She's coming off a big week in um, at, at ANC where she's going to be used to physical contact. She is not going to be. Potter. Um, knocked yeah. around by that. That's not going to intimidate her. She's going to have come up against some really strong bodies there. So. Eight goals to three here. The lead in favour of the Saints. Something that the Raiders had been really good at all season was starting mm. really well. We commented last week for 22 to goals mm. to nine first quarter. They're just being held up here a little bit yep. and playing back to nerves. So they just need to yeah. settle and get one back. It's interesting. Mia Lavis is sitting over there. We talk about people with game experience. Mm. Whether or not, oh, oh goalsworthy, beautiful. Mm, well read. And the Raiders really need to reward this defensive effort. They do. Their defenders have great, had some great turnovers here. See, oh, great hands over by zone. Myrtleford. Dolan just needs to reset here, stay composed. Stewart, look at the post yep. and uh, help ball. And she should have done that the first, first time. time. Yep. I feel like Dolan's getting caught up. Cartwright's covering her and Dolan's getting caught up a bit in that contest. She it's a very, very up. quick play from the Saints mm. there, end to end. And Hanrahan can't quite finish it, but gets the rebound. And now finishes it for their ninth goal. Nine goals to three here on the 777 Automotive scoreboard. Botter or oh, launches. Hanrahan just that extra strength. Oh, goals yeah. worthy. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a change up in the um, Raiders defence. They've got Eliza Mooney also sitting on their bench over there who will provide a beautiful height matchup. Molly Goldsworth is doing a wonderful job, but I think Eliza Mooney's height on Sophie is going to be um, what might be needed here because they're just looking and banging it straight to Soph and there's no height match up, yep. match up there at all. Whereas Stuart. a height match up there would just provide a bit more doubt in that ball coming in as we see Blaney House. Cartwright, she's really moving her feet. Yep. And providing that physical presence, very similar to what Tina Way provides in that circle. They don't ever go away. No. Nice. And it's really hustling those attackers, and they'll be exhausted by they quarter will. time. But so Donlan settles goals. for the Raiders, puts number four on the board. It's been a strong off the line, looks in, opts to go to the pocket to Broz, and she has Botter presenting front and centre. So she'll take the shot, makes no mistake. Myrtleford moved to 11 goals, leading the Raiders four here. On the triple seven automated scoreboard, first quarter action. Thanks to Cavalier Holmes, eight minutes played on the McRae Motors time clock, and that went both through both shooters yeah. set to hands. Stewart, the obstruction call came first, so she'll get a second ping at it. Pops and out. And a third, I think the third, defender yeah. moved a little bit quickly. Just needs to settle. And yeah. Donlin connects. Five goals for the Raiders. Uh, Lespina does well there. Both defenders go to Bros. Great cover there by Mackenzie House and Molly Goldsworthy. They were forced to go back out rather than the quick one in. Hannah Hand in that front position. She's positioning herself nicely there for the feed in. Steps in, but Goldsworthy just falling in and contacting on the land there. And finishes it with a nice goal. 12 goals to five here. The lead to the Saints, Eva Hughes and Blaney House. Yes. So that's another great matchup on court. It is. Both youngsters. A miscommunication. That's just nerves coming through. Brentis, Prentice, sorry. Attacks. Oh, oh. Just got through the hands of Goldsworthy. And I reckon that 
just through Almost the deceived. deflected. Yeah, yep. Sophie Hanrahan there. And so you can see the press here in the centre third from the Saints, but just not enough talk there and a player moving too early and it left Taylor Donlan home alone for yeah. a beautiful goal. Smart and play by um, M. Stewart too. She knew that Donlan was there and quick released to get that ball into her. So Murderford off the centre and again, turning and looking straight in, knowing that Soph's in that front position. Yeah. And I know Soph's holding really strong. I'd just love to see Molly get her feet moving a little yep. bit so that, that that space in front of her doesn't look so easy. Just to coming get to. off the, yeah. and even sitting off to the side and looking to come hedging. across. Yeah, and hedging, just hedging providing. What's there. Yeah, putting some doubt in that feeder's mind as to where she's going to go, forcing Sophie to do something slightly different. So the umpire's found a contact call there. Okay. So that's been a couple now on Donlan. Something needs to change down that end. She's getting caught up in that contest. You can see the Raiders girls, a couple of girls going to warm, warm up. up. But credit to the Raiders yep. defence there through the midcourt. They've caused the held ball and the turnover. Can they capitalise here? We're into the final five minutes of this first quarter. Oh, oh and she can't quite. Oh, she does pull it in just. Mm. And it's really tough as a coach, isn't it? You you want to stick with the girls that have been doing the job for you all year, but you don't get any second chances today. You've got a game that has to be won, and sometimes the really tough calls have to be made. So we'll see what Jody House does as Lespina delivers a beautiful ball right under the post to Hanrahan. So Myrtleford go to 14, leading the Raiders 7 here. Raiders centre House at St John off the line to House. She's forced to go back to Sister McKenzie. Prentice, she's been a fantastic backup on that line for them. M. Stewart, Stewart rolls into nice. the front position, yeah. but just the delivery, the ball a little bit out in front. So Cartwright with the throw in. Bodder, Bros, three passes and they're down, but a footwork call just gone a little bit too fast was Bros for yeah. her own feet. And so John probably needs to pick up Sage Bros a bit earlier on that defensive setup to Sage is doing a lot of the drive down the centre. For Myrtleford. Oh, we oh. see there she gets some great tips to the ball. Just applying first pressure defence to the ball just to break up that transition of Myrtleford to you. Out on her own outside the circle in that double defence on Stewart making it really hard. The jump from way short. Beautiful goal by beautiful Stewart goal. to settle. And when she turns and looks eight. and puts confidence in that shot, she's really damaging as oh, Lespina <laughs> bombs it in. Absolutely. House pinpoint. Went, oh. went fishing with a different player and then Hanraham picks up the rebound. So St. John and Stewart to House to Sister Blaney, Mackenzie to Blaney that is. St. John St. in the John. Oh, great vision. You see Donnellan under the post all alone. She settles with a great goal. So Raiders hanging in there, trailing by six here late in the first quarter. Less than three minutes to play. Oh, one and hand reefing. Goldsworthy trying Pass. to come off the body there and get around, but just not able to get around far enough to and get the tip. And enough stretch to it. there from from Bros, knowing that the outstretch hands of Hanrahan can can really reef that ball in. 16 plays nine here. Blaney House to Donlan in goal shooter for the Raiders. Oh, she has to, to go reset. for a long <laughs> reset back to the line. House, that was basketball-esque, and just a few of those errors being forced by the defenders of the Saints. And and nicely timed drive there by M. Stewart. Shot from M. Stewart. Yeah. That's what I'd love to see is just her turn, have the confidence. Cutting into that front space, too, on the drive. Now having to really work around Prentice, the high ball again to Bros. Off balance, well but finds Goldsworthy Hanrahan. Well done there. Mm. Now Pice Double found defended. penalty inside. So Bodder, she's too far out to shoot. Looks for the refeed and Lespina finds Hanrahan under the post. 17th goal for the Saints, leading the Raiders 10 here on the 777 Automotive scoreboard. First quarter, thanks to Cavalier Homes. 13 minutes 20 played in this first quarter. Though the pace has slowed, the intensity has not. Finals time, we love to see it again. But strong yeah, rebound, and that's right. what I'd love to see. Yep. She can turn and ping them, but she's also so beautiful mm. on the rebound, netting the 11th goal for the Raiders. Yeah, look, she's really one of the standout players in our competition, and she really needs to have that confidence in herself, play with that confidence as we see Tina Way launch the ball oh, of speed of a goal. Goldsworthy. Great tip, and Blaney House backing up beautifully there as Raiders look to go forward. So John to Prentice on the line, again, backing each other up on that transverse. Stewart finds Blaney House and presents front to 
receive the ball and a beautiful long shot. We are back to 15 plays 12 here. And as we know, uh, Wangaratta, sorry, yesterday they came within three of a 10 goal deficit. So five is nothing. Mm, no, not in an A great game, is Particularly it? Particularly in this first quarter. No. Plenty of netball left to play. St. John gives off to Stewart. They'd love to get a goal here late in this first quarter. Oh. But the defensive effort of the Saints is up there. It's on circle edge into the finals. Stewart's a long way out. Not going to oh, shoot from there. Cartwright oh. deserved that ball. And she was rewarded. the throw-in is rewarded in the way of the Saints. High ball. Bros just inside that goal third. Ball into Botter. Oh. She did well then because she was going to be wrong-footed. Wrong Yes. As Hanrahan steps in and a second miss. And right Raiders, great tap from Mackenzie House and they launch it, but just run out of time. So quarter time score here. The Saints leading the Raiders 17 to 12. This is o &M Live Netball and on o &M Live, you won't miss a thing. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Recognize this face? I've been in more beer ads than anyone else, and all I'm told to do is smile, sip, and laugh a bit. 0.0% alcohol? This changes everything. I can swim! I can upgrade heavy machinery! I can actually drive! I'm with beer drinkers! Rewrite the rules, Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. From entertainment to news and subscriptions in between, manage select subscriptions in one place with Optus Subhub. Streamline your paid subscriptions and save up to 10%. It starts with yes. One, AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Oh, they haven't changed. Oh, geez, all those. Welcome back to OM Live Netball. Second quarter about to commence here at the Norm Mins Oval. The elimination, sudden death game, Myrtleford with the five goal advantage. 17 plays 12. The only change that has been made on court is Mia Lavis has 
Join the Raiders in goal shooter, sending Taylor Donlan to the interchange. And the Saints with the first center pass. Oh, Kenzie House Ooh. coming through like a steam train contesting that ball, but running side by side with Botter and just giving away the contact. Botter, not confident, but I don't know why, because once she turned and pinged it, straight through St. John to Stewart. Oh, oh good job. Great Bonner. tip. And well watched by Sage Bros to pick that up. So Murdoch with the opportunity to score again here. Ospina attacks the ball, has to swing it sideways. No one down court. Sage eventually gets there. Looks in, but Hanrahan covered. So the defender's opting to kind of go for a two-on-one on Hanrahan here. And Goldsworthy oh. goes back, but into the body of Hanrahan. Ospina swings at top and finds Hanrahan coming at her. They're working that triangle nicely to open that up the shooter. So Myrtleford, 19. 19, leading the Raiders 12. Raiders needing to score here to stay in touch. And Kenzie House certainly doing her best to do, keep him in touch. Oh, now. Maggie St. John, John. she well read watched. that beautifully and she hedged and then left and then came back again. And Lavis. great drive there by M. Stewart to come into that front position, not playing behind and a nice goal to finish off with. So Raiders get one back and it's their centre. 19 plays 13 here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. Second quarter, thanks to McRae Motors. Lavis, a great baseline drive. Ops. Obstruction call. So this will be a great contest, actually, too, won't it? Lavis and Cartwright. And Lavis in the front position, but contact on the ball by Way, and she gets her first goal. Lavis into the game already. Fresh off her uh, Com Games <laughs> gold medal. It's Shooters yeah. at both ends. Just oh, yeah, no, it's us. We've got your Commonwealth Games gold medalist and an ANC gold medalist. In, uh, it's in our midst. It's just, um, we, we love to see it, and I don't think we get to really give Sofa Rap yesterday at no, any we point because we're very busy in game sense. But a big congratulations to Soph, part of that winning Collingwood yep. Magpies team as Lavis drops the 15th goal for the Raiders. 20 plays, 15 here. Um, yeah, the win in the Australian Netball Champs against all the other state yep. teams. And oh. they had a great week. And, oh, <laughs> stepping ball. I love yeah, that that was played as a really fair Oof. contest because both players yep. went straight up for the ball. It was a huge ball into us. She well to try and pull that in. So Prentice, Prentice has uses to go the balk. Has to go back. Being patient here, Raiders. So House sideways to Ke St. John. Stewart coming out. They're just working it round. Oh, oh and way. Wow. Fraction late, I Half saw her hunting. Yep. And a two-on-one, Lavis presenting front. Arms before was the call there. Yeah, and she's not going to miss that. Oh, we're back to 420 plays, 16 here. St. John in that circle, nice and quick. And the pressure Wait. defense there of Way hustling through. Leaves a two-on-one in the circle. St. John deep in the pocket to Stewart. Ops back for St. John. And we've got a very mobile shooting circle here now with Lavis and Stewart in there, don't we? Very, very mobile against two real hustle defenders. Yeah. So it really changes up what they've got to do. And Lavis as well can very aptly Ooh. swing out to goal attack. And what a great contest attack. that was. Good chase by Lavis there. Ops for the refeed. Beautiful goal. goal. Back to three. 20 plays 17 here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. Three, nearly four minutes played on the McRae Motors time clock. Oh, oh where he saw it. Frost turned herself inside out then to get that ball to Bonner. And, the and contact, contact call. call. Mm. This could be interesting. They convert this and we're back to two. So Raiders have really turned the game on its head a little bit here. It's Hanrahan, that defensive effort coming through. Mm. You start to hear Jodie House's voice on that uh, <laughs> coaching sideline. <clears throat> there is not a more helpless position to be in. Oh, I yeah. think that a finals coach in the elimination final at that. Oh, great pull in by St. John. <clears throat> and you can just see oh, the movement of bodies in that circle yep. as Lavis works herself in a front position, takes the shot. Makes and no mistake. So 20. Raiders back to within two, 18 place to There's a pass to come. Cavalier Holmes. Stewart Scoreboard. using her footwork really Second well there. Action. Ops to go sideways to Prentice to St. John. Back to St. John. We've got Lavis out of the circle. Oh, 
Great hustle well, from Bros. Bro, I think she's done well, well. Earned, well, well earned that ball. Probably not the best decision for, for Lavis. St. John was on her own, but probably hanging a bit too far away from that circle. Oh, attempts and great pressure here from the Raiders. Mm. They've really locked the Saints into that defensive third for a bit longer than they would have liked. And now they're struggling to penetrate, but the long ball mm. into Hanrahan certainly does. She opts back. Bodda will turn. Great D from Goldsworthy and just too much on it. But Hanrahan, the right side of the goalpost, connects. Those long arms, they would have pulled that ball in. 21 to 18 here in favour of the Saints. And the centre pass is just being reset. Umpire getting control of the game. Good to see. Norell and Sean, our umpires here today. Very, very experienced and... Narelle travelled down with us to Interleague. She She's did. the Interleague umpire, and Sean was down Sean there as was well. Too, yes. Um, which is fantastic. So, plenty of experience on either sideline here. Goldsworthy to House, St. John. And again, Saints are doing exactly what the Raiders mm. did at the other end. Four passes, it's taken a pass this transverse line, and it only just has this semi zone. I don't really want to call that one a complete zone, but it still made enough doubt okay. in the Raiders' minds. House, oh, Stewart, strong take and oh, great offload. Good balance Cartwright there. really in mm. the right position, but the hands of Lavis just got a good ability, in. a good ability in Stewart to kind of hang in the air, turn and balance herself in the air and, and give those balls off. It's something she does really well. St. John. Lavis is out of the circle. Ops to go back to St. John. They reset off the circle. House is out. Oh. And a nice little pass from Stewart finds Lavis popping forward. Beautiful no goal. So 21 20. plays 20 here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. Nearly halfway through this second quarter. Botter, or oh, she waited oh. half a second too long. And St. John again just and in the right place at the right time. And that was a hard work for St. John on that centre pass. They stopped that pass to leave Lesmina. They forced the wide centre pass. And that caused the error and St. John mopped up. So it was a good defensive teamwork. As Lavis takes a shot for the Raiders and puts them level pegging. 21 goals apiece here in the second quarter and it's a Raiders centre. So five goals the deficit at the start of this quarter. We are back to even and half of this second quarter has been played out. House to Prentice. Oh, dangerous ball. <laughs> Lavis. It was. St. John. So call first. Lavis holding strong. I'd be giving that pop ball yeah. into the circle. Way again, keeping into oh, smart yeah. work by Stewart. And beautiful finish. So for the first time in this game, the Raiders are in front. 22 plays 21, but there is a lot of time left mm. that they need to really work through this. And Myrtleford have just been kept a little bit quieter on the scoreboard, just not being able to get those quick, no, quicker goals. Yeah, the first goal we saw balls coming in very quickly particularly to Soph, and they've really stopped that delivery in, as we see. Soph put another one on the board. They moved to 22. St. John to the house off the line. Back to St. John. Lavers is out wide. Oh, both the No one there, there caught in the pocket, yeah. So Lavers again finds St. John. Quick give and go. Oh, oh the way. bounce pass. Oh. Way. She Great threw job. everything at that. Literally threw <laughs> everything out at herself. Oh. Just couldn't quite gain the possession. Myrtleford with the centre pass. Lespina, Sage Bros, great turn and pop back to get that ball into Hanrahan. Don't know why she wouldn't shoot that long one. I'm sure <laughs> she's been practising them in all her time since she returned from uh, the sunny state. Oh, the crowd willing that to be a Raiders ball, but it will be the contact of House puts her out of play. The pass goes in. Goldsworthy doing everything she can to to get that ball from Andrew Hand, knowing that's where it was going, but not able to get around. So Soph takes the shot and makes no mistake. So Myrtle could go to level. 23, levelling with Raiders. Goal Nearing for goal. the 10th minute of this second quarter in this elimination final contest. Stewart. Ah, oh, St. John just finding the right place. Mm 
to be just waiting that half a second. Good jump from Way, but Lavis. Beautiful shot. Broz stepping up. Oh, great defense there yeah. from St. John on the line. Laspina had to do three changes of direction. The and still last couple of centers have taken her out of it, and that's created that hold up, I think, going into Sophie because her delivery to Hanrahan is so spot on. Hanrahan with the leveler. Stewart coming out for this center pass receive. Ops back for St. John. House and St. John teaming up and ways. Way covering Lavis beautifully there. She came out. Stewart, Stewart forced to come out. The two on one in the circle leaves. Stewart on her own and that feed coming in thick and strong. And a great shooter to shoot a pass. But oh fabulous Wade. rebound from Way. Yeah. Shortest in that circle, but by no means not the strongest. And Molly Goldsworthy, great tip to get that ball. She was never going to intercept it, but was able to get a tip to it. Slowing the play down. Botta looking to use Laspina on circle edge. Prentice giving away the contact. Laspina, high ball into Hanrahan, who's falling out of court. The contact first. Myrtleford take the lead 25 to 24 here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. The Myrtleford centre. Again, Los Bina covered. The work of St John and Prentice together has been outstanding to watch there. And again, there's that ball. Oh, Los Bina to Hanrahan. Deadly pass, but unfortunately that time didn't come off for them. So Raiders, opportunity to get this one back. And you can see them setting up for this press through the mid third. Yep. What the Raiders girls need to do is to find a player and come off them to break this, they can't be left standing still because exactly that will happen. Well read from the youngster in Hughes as time's called for the ball to be retrieved. House will step up to the line as time on is called. And I would expect Raiders should be able to break that zone. A lot of these players from Raiders have come through academy, come through state oh, programs. Way again throwing everything yeah. at that ball, but St. John cool, calm and collected as Stewart Turns, and Lavis, good tip out into the space. Stewart able to mop up. A lot of contact, a lot of body work in that circle, and it's rewarded with the rebound. Saints oh, again. Oh. On. Forced to go back to Cartwright. So again, the pressure of both teams here defensively has been outstanding. Stewart over the ball, can't. Botta is very high, oh. has to go back. And Lavis with the well intercept on the Stewart line. there to hold it up. Oh. And she knows why he's going to jump. She's just waiting. But it's not enough to disrupt the shot. So Lavis. Back to even here. Back to 25 apiece. St. John. Oh, Blaney House, well done there. Stopped and then kept and the drive going. Oh, Lavis, the beautiful drive. baseline drive. She's deceptively quick, isn't she, when you see her on the court? To step in, and I guess that uh, fast five experience oh, would have, and again, shooter to shooter, just tapping it in. The fast five experience would have certainly uh, done her no harm in terms of uh, speed and endurance. Absolutely different format of the game, that modified game. Stuart, oh, great footwork by Lavis to find herself free of two. She'll take the shot under the post. <clears throat> so they move to a goal ahead, 26 place 25, but we're on centre pass here. Right, uh, Myrtleford centre pass. Laspina off the line that time. Looks straight into Hanrahan. Minute and a half. Here Beautiful in this transition. First there. half is left, and oh, you can hear them calling oh. for the help ball. But a beautiful clutch shot there from Sally Botter. Can the Saints get a turnover here late? Get their centre pass. Oh, way again. Saw it. Raiders are going to have to move away from that crop cross-court ball because yeah. it's really parallel. It's really flat. Very flat. Way is going to start really trying to pick them off. Oh, Broz running side by side with Blaney House. And if they start there, you know, they can start there, oh. but they need to then move back to it or it needs to be a move up and then back into the back space. As you see, Stuart finish that off. So goal for goal here at the can moment. the Raiders hold Again, the Saints out? covering that time, but that time Prentice called for a holding, so Myrtleford with the penalty in the line. Do they play it around a little bit, eat up the time, or are they just going to turn and shoot? Bodar turns and shoots. Beautiful shooting from Sally Bodar. 27 apiece here. 15 seconds in this half left to play. You can hear no goal being played. 
goes to McKenzie House. Long ball to Stewart. They need to get it into Lavis. Oh, way. That is experience. Oh, oh Ambrose. Oh, oh, that's going to be a contact call. Time's been held. But on the buzzer. But so. on the buzzer. Scores here <laughs> are level. We are in for a cracking second half Absolutely. in this elimination final. We will be back after the break. This is O&M Live Netball. And on O&M Live, you won't miss a thing. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Recognise this face? I've been in more beer ads than anyone else, and all I'm told to do is smile, sip, and laugh a bit. 0.0% alcohol? This changes everything. I can swim! I can upgrade heavy machinery! I can actually drive! Onwards, beer drinkers! Rewrite the rules. Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. entertainment to news and subscriptions in between. Manage select subscriptions in one place with Optus Subhub. Streamline your paid subscriptions and save up to 10%. It starts with yes. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Welcome back to O&M Live Netball, the elimination final at the Norm Mins Oval. Half time and scores are level 27 goals a piece of credit to the Raiders. They mm. really fought their way back into this game. They were down by five at quarter time and have <coughs> just brought that deficit back and we ended up being goal for goal on our centre passes. Certainly did the injection of Mia Lavis. Just changed up the attacking end became a much more mobile goal circle and uh, really injected some life into it. And I think um, almost brought out a level of confidence in M. Stewart, didn't it? She seemed to go up another gear. And um, But their defensive pressure of both teams across the court has been really outstanding. And it's going to be the team that can capitalise on those because they're both getting lots of opportunity, that is for sure. But I think we also saw the defence, because the defensive pressure lifted 
um, for Raiders down the court. We saw the, the ball slow coming into Sophia Hanrahan and that gave the Raiders defenders an opportunity to make some turnovers. When it's coming in so fast, like we saw in that first quarter, they don't have a chance. So they have to slow that ball coming in or the, you know, um, whether it's Molly or whoever it is that's on Sophie, they don't, <laughs> they don't have an opportunity to get a turnover. Players take the court for this second half. Do or die action. The winner of today's game will live to fight another week and will take on the Wangaratta Magpies who went down to the Lavington Panthers yesterday in the qualifying final. A change on court for the Saints, George Ryan injected into wing defence. That is the only change on court. St. John with the hands over pressure. Oh, oh. Pinpoint pass Pin from Pinpoint. Oh, and, and it had to be because it was a two on one. And Sophie Hanrahan gets the first goal of this second half. 28 plays 27 here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. St. John to Stewart. Oh, Blaney House, beautiful drive using circle edge. Lavis not confident from there, swings it out. Both shooters on the move, no one to go to and a held ball. So just not able to find the space. So good defensive work there by Myrtleford to shut down the space. So Ryan on the drive has to go back to Cartwright. <laughs> Lavis contesting that and ending up on the ground. Oh, oh and the pass goes St. wild. John again, I reckon that has been her fifth just loose ball pick yep. up just in the right place mm. at the right time. Three of them have been clean intercepts yeah. and that one was just... She's certainly a hustler, isn't she? Really just watching the ball and where it's going to go. Mm. Lavis... Very long range, oh. but drops in beautifully. Easy. 28 goals apiece here on the McRae Motors scoreboard. Sally Botter in goal attack gives off to Broz. Oh. Bullet ball to Hanrahan. Back to Broz and Botter. Stepping through and netting that goal. St. John in centre. You can hear everybody out is the call for the Saints defence. An obstruction Meaning call. Meaning their attackers as well just to get that hustle through. So really Stewart out, no one in front of her, but a penalty found outside. So they'll have the chance to reset House. Off the circle of fairway. Stewart coming out to meet her. Back to House. George and Ryan in front. Coming on in wing defence. Another player that's got plenty of a finals experience. Mm, yes, definitely. We spoke the other week that she played for Yarrawonga in that 2013 Grand final, where sister. And I think Raiders wanting to make some changes there, but just I'm not sure exactly what I time's being called. I think they wanted to. I think they wanted to put Zoe. I'm not sure what they would. Uh, anyway, Eliza Mooney's onto the court into <laughs> goalkeeper, and Molly Goldsworth is gone to yeah, a wing to defense. Wing defense I suspect they might have wanted. Oh, it's really to come off. But anyway, that's what's happened. Oh, oh, and that is why. Immediately. Straight into the action. Although, I don't know if Zoe was limping or whether that was um, <laughs> just really well <laughs> enacted injury time. As oh, Bodder Moody takes the shot and makes no mistake for the Middleford Saints. So they move to 30, leading the Raiders by one. We're on 29. Stewart back to Goldsworthy. House. Lavis coming out, oh, and there's Way again. Oh, beautiful shooter to shooter connection. Cartwright, beautiful jump, but it doesn't matter because Stewart's netted that goal anyway. Back to even, 30 goals apiece here. And talking about Georgia Ryan, she's just a different type of play to Evie Hughes in the same way that Goldsworthy is going to be different to Zoe Prentice. Different the way they sit up and, and play on the body. Well done from Sally Botter there. Yeah. She recognised that Sophie Hanrahan was deep on the other side of the circle, played that front space, and then Broz to have the confidence to just tell her to ease back because the defender wasn't there. Stewart, though, home out on that wing on her own because Way's kind of hedging that space at the top of the circle, trying to shut down Mia Lavis. But it's Cartwright that stood out of play, shooter to shoot a pass. And the goal is good, even. We are 31 apiece here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. Oh. oh, and Goldsworthy coming through, but no, the contact call made. Ryan to Broz. Covered Rooney. by Hansi House with the pass to Botter, so forced to go back. Botter in front, looks at Hanrahan, but the option not on now that lies a really long arm there. So Hanrahan's really had to work a lot harder for yep. the ball here. Mooney just 
using her feet really well in that height. And passing passes are just having to second guess because that's yes, oh, and that's oh that's why. why. Yep. Yeah. Just wish she had got two hands to that. She got the tip but couldn't quite control it to a player. Yeah. Hanrahan capitalizes for the Saints and they've got the one goal advantage, but it is on center pass here and Ways out of play on the transverse line. So there is a two in one in the circle. What do the Raiders do here with that advantage? They use circle edge and drop that high ball into Lavis into the space. Who connects and finishes beautiful. Beautifully, sorry. 32 apiece here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. There has only been five minutes played in this first in this third quarter. Oh. Beautiful mid-range goal from Sally Botter. She certainly got her eye in this afternoon. St. John to House, to House and Stewart. Oh, oh, drive by St. John, really strong. She has to go back to the line. No one sitting at home for her. Lavers coming out strongly, opts to go over to Stewart and she takes a nice ball, not in, tries to rebound, not able to take it. So Murdoch with the opportunity to get a break here. But umpire has found a penalty. I think foot was on the line or in the court. So Lavis will take the ball. Oh, nice roll. roll. Yeah, she does that so well. Oh. It's really one of the features of her game. Anyone that watches her play. I reckon if I tried to roll like that, I'd um, end up. Yeah, on the floor, floor. like me. Yeah, I'd be with you. <laughs> Time's been held while this ball's retrieved. Not sure where I'd end up, but it wouldn't be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> So Stewart front position and Lavers coming at her. And she'll take the shot. Oh, great jump from Cartwright. Just yeah. a pity. Just landing Couldn't quite on the land. body. Yeah. And the goal from Lavis is good. 33 goals apiece here. Oh, House. And doing House the best Goldsworthy to doing the best. And it's come off Myrtleford last. So reward for effort. Again, that loose ball could be. Oh, there was a big that push there as yeah. House came through. And I think House might have run into her first and there was a retaliation there. <laughs> so there's plenty of feeling in this game. Both teams absolutely wanting this win. It's do or die. You as can Raiders. Hear the Raiders bench just getting that little bit louder. Yep. That was a reward for the defensive effort. St. John and, and Roz. I'll tell you what, House is going to... That's a caution on Georgia Ryan. Unnecessary contact. And I... Just going to say Blaney House is going to earn every pass she gets today. St. John. Oh, she oh, just got through the hands of Cart right there. And I tell you, I reckon she held that a second too long, but it just got there. So Raiders moved to 35, leading Myrtleford. 33. Oh, oh Mooney oh, coming through. Beautiful. And I tell you, she just missed that ball. Oh, but bros. that's the stuff she needs to do because I tell you, she's only going to get one and it creates some doubt. So Raiders. House off the line. Georgia Ryan giving us some space. Uh, great Lavis present there now. from Lavis. Just splitting the circle, leaving the uh, attackers both to move with space to move into. And great little pass from Lavis to Stewart there. And she's pulled in the penalty. So she'll take a shot. And, and dribbles it in. Drops it in. 36 plays, 34 here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. There is still over half of this third quarter left to play. Broz steps in, circle edge. Botter oh, the comes to the front. Oh, Broz did well to get that. How is that feed in? But Hanrahan. And, and so she's not going to shoot from out there. She hasn't shot enough this season, I don't think, to be taking the long range shots. And House contacting on her way around. And Mooney just not letting that pass come in no. at all. But a beautiful goal from Sally Botter, really stepping up. In this elimination final, 36 plays, 35 here. The Raiders with the one goal lead. Lavis timing her lead out of that circle. And great nice cross, ball. cross circle ball. And a held ball held there. Ball so again. Good defensive pressure on Myrtleford. Just stopping the ball coming in. I did Can't have run. a conversation with Sophie Hanrahan before the game. She feels like she's putting the hot shots um, award. Uh, <laughs> into disarray if she was to win it. She thought that uh, <laughs> having only the, the criteria is 200 attempts. She's had 201. Oh, so she's and the Raiders <laughs> doing the defensive, defensive work. work just to spill it over the baseline. House having to come really deep into that defensive circle. Goldsworthy 
through, but the Raiders need to get on the move. They can't be standing still here for this play. Ryan comes Ooh. through. As Blaney House gives off to Lavis, a little dribble pass in the reply. She waits for the jump of Cartwright, takes the long ball, but can't connect and Cartwright with the rebound. Bros, oh, cross court. That was Whoa. never going to get theirs. House was in front position. So and that's a bit of tiredness coming into play as well. Players, players yep. not coming forward to the ball, but then, yeah, that choice decision. Not her best was Bros, and she'll be looking to rectify that. Stewart. Oh, passes Ooh. to Lavis. Oh, way probably from where we are, probably took that really cleanly, mm, but from the way umpire the before. before. Wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. And 37, the score here, <coughs> leading the Raiders, sorry, leading Myrtleford 35. And we're seeing a couple of centre court positional changes. Lespina heads for a rest, Bros into wing attack. Evie Hughes re-entering the court in at centre. Some fresh legs. Botter. Oh, beautiful oh, release. In point to Hanrahan under the post. Not much a defender can do. No, when with she had a the beautiful space pass behind her like too. That. Yeah. yeah. So House. Oh, oh man, Hughes. Oh, oh, followed up nicely. And their bench love it. And why not? Hanrahan gives off to Hughes. And again, finds Hanrahan flirting with that baseline, but stays in. We are back to level 37 goals apiece here on the Cavalier home scoreboard into the final five minutes of this Ooh, third quarter. That was a dangerous pass. Goldsworthy coming one. through with the outside arm. Ryan to Hughes. Bodder presenting on that baseline. Ops for the refeed to Bros. And a great stretch there from Hanrahan. Turns. And they have retaken the lead here. 38 plays 37. Raiders with the centre pass to come. Gold's Ryan really just making it back. really difficult for the space there. Yeah. They've taken up the space. Yeah, Hughes. they're just dropping off a little bit there. And oh, and way he goes hunting. Again, and that was that really parallel pass. Oh, and off the hands of House. Ball. So the pressure of Georgia Ryan there contesting that ball has forced it off House. So Cartwright will take the ball for Myrtleford, but umpires also found a penalty on court. Calling for short options. Oh. St. John, and this is where the heads of the Raiders girls really need to stay in play, not not kind of contesting with the umpire because it's not going to change their mind. Oh, Mooney hustled then to keep Botter out of play, but couldn't on the second attempt. Great hands over. Oh, strong and hands short. over. Oh. And um, Goldsworthy well just watched. in the right position. Mooney to House to Goldsworthy. Blaney House, and they are in there attacking third. And this is where they need to just play smart and wait for someone to come. Oh, and Georgia Ryan with the tip. Yeah. But can't quite connect. So Raiders just some still. fakes. Just need to fake the ball. Stay upright. Stay Inside, balanced. Take a and breath. And it's way out of play. Well, that rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> You're a poet. You didn't know it. <laughs> Been talking a lot about rhyming words in our house at the moment oh. with my four-year-old. <laughs> Luckily, not some choice ones as Lavis <laughs> brings us back to level 38 goals apiece here on the Cavalier home scoreboard third quarter. Thanks to McRae Motors, we've got two and a half minutes left in this third quarter and still oh. no goal splits it. Oh, and oh. the contact, mate. <laughs> Disappointing because it was a great effort and I don't think Sophie Hanrahan was really expecting that ball. No, she didn't look like it. Botter, though, she's been so calm in that ring and really supported Hanrahan and just netting those goals as needed. St. John looks back. Botter gives away the penalty through that mid-court. House looking for someone to come to assist you. Blaney does present. Stewart out. And, and opts just to go over to Lavis. She's just going to clear the mess. And Lavis takes a strong grab and makes and no mistake. clever then too because Way was coming out mm. of that circle. So it left a little bit more oh, space. Oh, big ball. But well, well kept played. in by Batter. Uh, Botter and well backed oh. up there by Bros and a smart little ball, but a contact call on Hanrahan. The hard work of Mooney and off again. the ball. So players, you can sense the urgency late in this quarter. Raiders feeling the need to score a couple of quick ones. 
Oh, Labus is coming out like a steam train Hughes, and calling for it. Hughes, Hughes was in front position. St. John was not even in the front position there, so I'm not sure why that was an option. As Hanrahan takes the ball and Triple just falls in. <laughs> 40 goals to 39 here on the Cavalier home scoreboard. Less than a minute and a half left in this third quarter. St. John. So really getting stuck here. They need another option coming forward. Oh. And oh. that's a late contact. A oh, good pass there from Stewart into Lavis. And the connection and the level are 40 goals apiece into the final minute of this third quarter. You can hear the calls, no goal. And I'd love to see St. John just close that gap a little bit. Oh, that ball's up. coming too easy into the pocket. But Botta, another beautiful goal from her, 41. The lead to oh, the Saints. That, that time, so whether is this oh. time enough? No, that Turnover might be. Turnover from the Saints. Can the Raiders lock it in and get one back here? Oh, it's long. It's a big pass. Hughes, but Botter is on her own. Mooney yeah. attempts. Oh, oh and, 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 oh, and, and the rebound. We have a little bit of time left in this third quarter. Can they get it oh, in Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful move. Wow. That is one of the that plays of the day. And the level are 41 goals apiece here. Very, very little remains in this third quarter. Saints with the ball, the high ball. Oh, oh. that was huge. And that was there is the, the buzzer. Girl back. <laughs> <laughs> the buzzer for three-quarter time. We are in for an epic fourth quarter here in the elimination final. 41 goals apiece. This is OM Live Netball. And at OM Live, you won't miss a thing. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Recognize this face? I've been in more beer ads than anyone else, and all I'm told to do is smile, sip, and laugh a bit. 0.0% alcohol? This changes everything. I can swim! I can upgrade heavy machinery! I can actually drive! Onwards, beer drinkers! Rewrite the rules, Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. entertainment to news and subscriptions in between. Manage select subscriptions in one place with Optus Subhub. Streamline your paid subscriptions and save up to 10%. It starts with yes. AY, we're your home of live sport. 
Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app. Welcome back to O&M Live Netball. Strap yourselves in because this is an elimination final for the ages. 41 goals apiece. Fourth and final quarter coming to you. Thanks to Martin's Travel Group, Aubrey, and it is the Raiders with the centre pass to get us underway. Great centering drive out of the circle there from Lavis. House, Stewart to Lavis. And the first goal of this fourth quarter goes so to Raiders, the Raiders. Raiders just bringing Zoe Prentiss back into that wing defence position. Otherwise, no changes. It's the Saints. So will we go to extra time, Ree? That's the question. Look, <laughs> I feel like I've played the game <laughs> as Hanrahan puts in the leveller. We'll find out in... 15 minutes. <laughs> um, St. John with the ball gives off to House. Oh, Ryan back arm flicks it to Botta because she knew she wasn't going to get a clean two hands on it as Hanrahan and Bros connect on the circle. And we've got a bib down on play, and time has been called. About a minute into this fourth quarter. Bros. Mooney did well then. Oh, oh good take by Hanrahan. That was strong. A and again, contested in the air. Yep. Myrtleford out to 43 here. The one goal lead, center pass to come, and it'll be the obstruction of House. Not quite getting her feet around. Hughes. To Bros in the pocket and Bodder presenting front. Oh, it's off, but Mooney's under it. Quick release. St. John. Oh, Whoa. Bros connects beautifully with Hanrahan. So, dribbling it in, they are out to two goals. 44 plays 42 here on the X ray group scoreboard. House to St. John. This is where he's coming through. Just need to look after it there, particularly the younger Raiders girls. Remain composed, present, pass to the player that's presenting. And it's not like there's only one minute left in no. this fourth quarter. There is plenty of time left to play. Stuart Lavis. Smart by Lavis just to step off the body and create a bit more space. Open it up and she makes no mistake. 43, the Raiders, 44, the Saints. Hughes, St. John. Hanrahan having to come out of that circle. Bros. Defensive House pressure of Raiders making it pretty tough to find oh. a passage in, and they eventually find Hanrahan. And again, a beautiful feed to Hanrahan. 45 plays, 43 here. House back to Stewart, back to House. Lavis out. St. John finds circle edge. Uh, and that's what the pork can do. Exactly. We haven't seen that a lot today from either side. And Lavis finishes off nicely. And that just requires you to be balanced and composed and take a breath. And there's a contact. Prentice. So Prentice is frustrated with herself there. Potter using circle edge. Hughes in the pocket. Well within range is Potter. Oh, Potter, that, sorry. That jump and of Mooney. It's... <laughs> Huge when she gets up in the air. They have to go high to get it over her, but they do. House off the line to Stewart. She opts to go back. Ooh, Prentice. Pre oh, Prentice. Oh, to the space, and we're going to get a touchy re if we're lucky, but no. Cartwright steps up to the line for the Saints. Blaney House, eyes were down, and it went to Ryan deep in that transition third. And Hughes and St. John just running side by side. Botter. Cross circle ball to Bros. High ball into Hanrahan. Just enough on it for that reach of Mooney. And trickles it in. They're out to three. 47 
place 44 here on the X-Ray Group scoreboard. And the held ball. So they're forcing the turnover. House to house. Back to house. McKenzie like House. To see oh, and Hughes. Beautiful intercept from the youngster. And just having a bit of a rest on the on the interchange gave her that opportunity to watch and she's picked off a couple of those already. And Mackenzie House forcing the turnover. Oh, just on that one, I'd like to see Blaney House maybe try a bit more of a give and go. They're getting a bit stuck down. They're fatiguing. She's that wing attack. Just opt for a little bit more of a give and go and see if she can create a little bit more here in this attacking space. There, deliver and go and again. Go. Yep. And Get see, that next pass. Open the space. Draw your defender there. rather than staying stationary and allowing that defender to get that ball. She's got the pace to do it as she finds Lavis, who finishes off. Finishes it off. 47 plays, 45 here on the X-Ray Group scoreboard. Fourth quarter, thanks to Martin's Travel Group, Aubrey, oh, over St. Skin. John and Lavis. St. John and House. Great quick hands. Lavis again front. She steps in from the penalty position, but the contact goes first. Stewart. 46, there's one back. 47 plays, 46 mm. here. Myrtleford centre pass to come. Botta holding up strong. Oh, ball. oh big ball. Beautiful but and play of space behind her there. I thought for a moment that was going to be too big, but they managed to pull that in. 48 plays, 46 here. Stewart, Lavis, house to Lavis. On the land, yeah. And moving off at a great settler there from Lavis. 47 plays 48 here. The X-ray group scoreboard. Six oh, minutes played on there. Defensive pressure of Raiders off that centre pass. And the error the error's been forced. So house to house. He and then drive this is again, where, yeah. yep, and this is where St John yep, come through. Come through. Yeah. But even Just a good reminder there yeah. from umpire Sean. Yeah, and I think, you know, sometimes that's all that's needed. Yep. Um. Well, both shooters there. We talked yeah. about that moving circle and then it opens up. And we are back to level 48 apiece here at the Norm Mins Oval. This is the elimination final. I come again into this space. Yeah. Prentice to house. Lavis straight at the top of the circle and the triangle to Stewart, finishing it oh, with a beautiful goal. Clap. She's happy with that. Back so. in the lead are the Raiders. What can the Saints do here? 49 plays, 48. Long one to Botter oh. and Hanrahan under the post. So with the level up. It's still finding a way forward and it's... And the crowd is just <laughs> starting to really fire here. Oh, it's just unbelievable. This is what finals should be. Lavis presenting front, swings it to St. John oh, and a fast again. ball back into Lavis. Beautiful, Beautiful ball release, circle. isn't it? Yeah, and just quick hands. 50 to 49, Raiders. One goal ahead, but it's just on circle. Oh, uh, the center pass, sorry, Prentice. I think Doing that's been a great move, bringing her back into wing defense. Yes. Just a little bit more speed off the line. Yeah, and Goldsworthy did a great job. Fraction taller, I think, and air oh, goes arms. Oh, beautiful jump from Mooney and rewarded. Mooney. Yep. Can right the hand. Raiders capitalise this? And that's contact, yeah. That's Mooney's ball there. So Prentice with the ball great for Raiders. Great drive there from House. She's a little bit higher than she probably likes, but it mm. created the space and opened up beautifully. Using the line, House to St. John. Oh, oh we do get a touch oh. early, but... <laughs> Fortunately, spills out again. So, Saints on the attack. Way looking long. They're all held up really high. Look at how high these Raiders. And Mooney oh, again. Mooney. She's oh, saying I didn't, didn't touch, touch it. it. But the umpire's saying yes, she did. So, it's going to be a Myrtleford ball. We are into the back half of this final quarter. Bros having to balk and balk. Botter. Didn't look like there was anyone there. Beautiful oh. split from Hanrahan. She takes up most of the circle when she does <laughs> that, doesn't she? We are back to level 50 goals apiece here on the X-Ray Group scoreboard. St. John to Prentice. Stewart. Someone just really needs to cut into that space. Yeah, look at House. this. Yeah, middle of this circle. Ryan, great um, hustle there. Through. Stewart. 
And again, Ryan. Yeah. And Blaney House needs to keep attacking that ball. Georgia Ryan is on her tail, and she is coming through hard. And these umpires are not going to give a free pa pass away easily. And top of the circle, you have and to a beautiful earn everyone. split there from the shooters of the Raiders. Lavis drops it in. 51 to the Raiders, 50 to the Saints, and it is getting loud here. Mm. Oh, great defense there from Mooney, hedging the space. Oh, Prentice. Prentice. Offside first, but contest. great contest. Gee, she must have just been offside, Ray. That looked very close, didn't it? And again, in everything, attempts with the outside arm. Oh, beautiful pass into Sophie Hanrahan. Back to level 51 apiece here on the X-Ray Group scoreboard. House and Ryan running side by side. Stewart. Stood out. Lavis coming out, providing an option. She's going to have to keep doing that. St. John. Oh, they need a That's better circle from edge. House. Oh, they wish. need to get circle edge. They need to look down as well. That's better by House. Front to Lavis. She's clever from in. Lavis. Smart play. No one home. 52 plays. 51 here. Bodder just over that transverse line. Oh, oh. big ball into Hanrahan. Mooney over it. Back to level. 52 goals apiece here on the X-Ray Group scoreboard. We're into the final five minutes of this fourth quarter, this elimination final. That was better attacking by Blaney House. And force the contact from Hughes. This is a moving circle, but probably a someone little bit too to, moving. At someone that point. needs to find top. Oh, Lavis just needed to push that out in front mm. of St. John a little bit. It was a little bit square on, but the strength of St. John standing up against Ryan there just bounces down Lavis. Mid range shot. Oh, clever from Stewart. Oh, and, and House. Yeah, and uh, great dive and tack on the ball there by House. She. That. Oh, and oh, oh, what a rebound. What a rebound. Yeah. And clutch shot there. 53 plays 52. And the, and the crowd. crowd. <laughs> it's phenomenal here. It's like, oh, like, it's like a, a grand final. final. Oh, but this is what we want. This is, oh. Finals netball as its finest. In the pre-show, we said Saints have not been in A-grade finals since 2012. The Raiders their first time since 2004. And they are both working to stay in at 53 goals apiece. St. John having to look back to Prentice. Stewart. Long cross court oh. to House and Lavis coming Smart through that play. speed. Again, oh. cross. Jeez. Oh, that is pressure. And what can the Raiders do here? Can they turn? Oh, oh, great Prentice drive from thought about it. Hughes to Botter. Prentice on a tail Bros. into Hanrahan. Oh, oh, nearly spills out. She gets the ball out to Broads in the pocket. Bodder's front. She's going to take hold the shot. From House. House is all over it, and she makes the mistake. And the Myrtle back the in front, front. and, and the set pass to come. Bros to Bodder. Prentice hand to it, not enough. Oh. oh, willing everything was every crowd member. They are out to 255, plays 53 here. The Raiders really need to remain composed and capitalise on this centre pass. They yeah. need to convert. There's still time. time. There is still time. St. John gives to Stewart. Turns short, but the rebound is in their favour. Lavis, great composure double Composure by there. Lavis, yep, just Takes. to resettle. We are back to one, 55, plays 54 here on the X-Ray group scoreboard into final three minutes. A footwork call. Turnover by Prentice Raiders. really wanting the ball and the penalty is set. So Raiders, and she's can been hear the call of close, no goal. She's been St. close John. to getting a turnover. And they forced and to House go back. And go through for that double play. That's a little bit of a liberate contact. And there'll be an advantage and called here. And brought up. Just one of those things in these t dying moments of these close games. Oh, way, way, the that coach. Baby, oh, and the hustle offside. on the line offside. And I love that right that was in. called a contest. Both players, whoa. There is so much energy on court. Stuart clutch shot from her. 55 the goals center a piece pass. Here. They have to get it in. There's not long there left on the clock. There is not long on this clock. It has clock. to go in. House to Lavis. Back to House. 
Mackenzie House, that is Blaney House, to Stewart. St. John presenting top and M. Stewart turns, shoots and nets it. 56 plays, 55. Time is being held just while this ball is retrieved. Spraws high ball, Mooney. Oh, Bonner, how did she keep that in? No whistles being called. We are back to even 56 goals apiece here on the X-Ray Group scoreboard. St. John, can the Raiders get it into their circle? Got to go in, it's got to go, go in. Waves is oh. And there's a contact call just outside. Get it in, they've got to get, get it in. Turn. Clutch shot. And she makes it, 57 plays, 56. There is not much time left in this game, this elimination final. Mooney oh, with Mooney. the ball, is that the oh, saving ball? Raiders, can they come down, Mooney? Oh, oh, do they ice the clock or do you attack? Oh, what do you do? There cannot be know. much time. The Swifts kind of ruined that final. Yeah, they <laughs> doing that. So the Raiders need to get it down. They don't have enough experience, I don't think. To attack, really pressure attack. it up, keep attacking get that it ball. Get it in. Stewart's got to get in the circle. And the siren has there down it. Is. That is one for the ages. Oh. The 57 have beaten the Saints. 56 here in this elimination final. My heart what? is racing, Ree, and I'm not a coach or a player of either of those sides. What that a finish is. and what a great spectacle of netball. That's what we want to see in this final. It's disappointing for the Saints, but great for the Raiders. And Unbelievable. Oh, just take a little breath. Oh, my, that is outstanding. While Tam Matthews retrieves our player of the day, which will be hard because these girls are so excited. One for the ages for an elimination final. They have kept their season alive, the Raiders. <laughs> and our player of the day, Mia Lavis, congratulations. Coming onto that A-grade court, Whew. what were Jodie's instructions when she brought you on? Um, her instructions... Oh, hold on. Let me just see if I... Go again. Um, just to get the circle moving, get some rotation in, and my job is just to be an option and try and keep a cool head. Here. Is that on? Try Here. this one. Oh. Sorry. Technical issues. Yes, go that one. Um, her instructions were to add a bit of movement to the circle yeah. and try and just be an option and yeah. Shoot the goal and get it in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Well, Mia, you were, you know, really changed the game. You coming in, I think it, it just gave some more movement to that circle and I feel like it really just lifted M. Have you spent much time playing with M? Because I really felt like it brought her into the game a little bit more too. Um, not a whole lot. Um, I think we're both kind of similar players with the way that we like to move. Um, and I think we complement each other, like feeding the ball in. And yeah, she's really good to work with. Beautiful. And obviously going into three quarter time, coming onto that fourth quarter, scores were obviously level. What were Jodie's instructions coming into that last quarter? Um, just to lift to another level and bring the hunger and fight. And just in attack, yeah, keep cool head. And then in defence, we're just fighting for every ball. Which oh. you certainly did. And yeah. Eliza McMooney came on and she was outstanding. All of the defensive, the defensive pressure across the court was just fantastic. Mm. But we will let you go and celebrate because that yes. is a win for the ages. <laughs> Your first A-grade finals <laughs> win and you guys live to fight another day and you will take on Wangaratta Magpies next Sunday. Yep. Cool, um, thank you. After you back up in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. Saturday. So all the best for Saturday. All the best for the rest of the finals and go and celebrate. Thank you. Thanks, Mia. Good job, Mia. Oh, an absolute star oh, of this competition. Wow, really. but, um, that, that, that's what finals is all about, isn't it? I mean, it's an absolute heart stopper, but that's what the game should be yep. about. And that and is a reflection of the A-grade season this year. There is just nothing between these teams. Competition, and I think the crowd really... Uh, got their just desserts here this afternoon Ooh. in the B grade are uh, warming up. So it will be the Raiders that will take on Wangaratta in next Sunday's elimination final. Sad to see the Saints bow out, but a fabulous effort from oh. them and they just kept coming. I thought that Sophie Hanrahan really mm. nailed a lot, but I thought Sally Botter was oh. instrumental in their attack and she really came in when she was needed yep. and particularly when Raiders shut down that feed mm. a little bit more from yep. Lespina Botter just really had to come into her own and Wayne Cartwright in their own yeah. rights down in the defence and worked tirelessly to yes. combat that and um, definitely from both teams to have such a close game. There are no passengers on court at all. Not at all and I was really impressed with the way Evie Hughes stepped onto that court. She started 
side of the game when she came in. You know, she attacked. She got some great turnovers at clutch moments. And, you know, I think they can walk away. They will be really disappointed. They'll be heartbroken. You know, that's the end of their season. But, wow, they can hold their head high in the performances that they put out there today and take a lot out of it. And you know what? They've still got teams in. Um, you know, and I know what they'll be like. Their whole team, their whole town will be behind the teams that they've still got playing. So. Absolutely. And for the Raiders, I thought Eliza Mooney coming on yep. really, really changed the game in that circle. Mm. I thought Molly Goldsworthy and Mackenzie House really hustled hard yes. and Prentice in that yeah. defence. But I thought also Maggie St. John just was cool, calm yep. and collected. We did comment in that last quarter. We wanted to see a little bit more drive from her and Blaney mm. House, but they did enough to just yep. get them over the line. Well, this has been the elimination final. It is the Raiders that live to fight another week. We'll be back back next Saturday from the Wodonga Bulldogs <laughs> ground where Yarrawonga Pigeons will take on the Lavington Panthers. The winner of that game will go straight through into this year's grand final. Then on Sunday, we are off to North Aubrey where we will see the Raiders take on uh, the Magpies. Thanks as always to you, Tam Matthews. This is o &M Live Netball and on o &M Live, you won't miss a thing. Go where you can live and learn locally. Go where students come first. Go for the choice of 120 courses across 11 campuses. Go for it with GoTafe. Looking for somewhere great to eat? Check out Social Dining and Bar. And right now, you can get a crumbed barramundi fillet served with chips and dill hollandaise from just $22. Come and be part of it all at Social Dining and Bar at the SSNA. Recognize this face? I've been in more beer ads than anyone else, and all I'm told to do is smile, sip, and laugh a bit. 0.0% alcohol? This changes everything. I can swim! I can upgrade heavy machinery! I can actually drive! I'm with beer drinkers! Rewrite the rules, Carlton Zero. Adroit Insurance and Risk, your local insurance advisor, able to tailor insurance programs to support your business. And we're proud to support our local community. From entertainment to news and subscriptions in between, manage select subscriptions in one place with Optus Subhub. Streamline your paid subscriptions and save up to 10%. It starts with yes. AY, we're your home of live sport. Every weekend, we bring you the best live broadcasts of the Ovens and Murray football and netball. Listen this weekend on your radio or the 2AY app.